Number seven, letter A. Suppose a cold front blows into your locale and drops the temperature by 40 Fahrenheit degrees. How many degrees Celsius does this temperature decrease when there is a 40 degree Fahrenheit decrease in temperature? All right. So they're basically asking us, I mean, this is what they're asking us. They're basically asking us, um, we want to solve for the change in Celsius temperature when we know the change in Fahrenheit temperature. Okay. Now, we have a formula over here on the right-hand side that relates the Celsius temperature to the, to the Fahrenheit temperature. That means if we know Celsius, uh, excuse me, that means if we know Fahrenheit, let me put it, let me frame it this way. If we know Fahrenheit, all we have to do is plug it into this formula right here, plug it in for F, and what gets spit out is then the Celsius temperature. Now the only difference is that we're dealing with changes in temperature instead of just a single temperature value. All right, so let me phrase this, right? They want to know how many degrees Celsius does the temperature change? So what they're asking us for is basically this variable, change in Celsius temperature. So I can relate that, or, or not even relate that, but I can expand this, right? You know that change means some final value minus some initial value, right? So I can say that the Celsius, the final Celsius temperature minus the initial Celsius temperature would be what they're really asking us for, right? And now what I can do is I can basically say, according to this equation, right, I can just put little subscripts here. I can say that my initial Celsius temperature would be equivalent to this initial Fahrenheit temperature performing this mathematical operation on the Fahrenheit, okay? And... Uh, as well, right, I could have written the final value here and then the final here. So that's basically basically what I'm going to do in this equation now. Okay, I know that um, the final Celsius temperature will be equal to 5 ninths multiplied by the final Fahrenheit temperature minus 32. And this, this essentially is my final C, right? And then I'm going to now plug in my initial C. Minus then 5 ninths, oops, sorry, minus 5 ninths, multiplied then by the Fahrenheit temperature initially, minus 32. Okay, so this is the equation basically. So now what do we notice here? We notice that we can, uh, I mean, if you want, you can pull out some common factors here, right? Or we can just do some, or we can just do the math. It really uh, doesn't matter. Let me, let me, um, why don't we pull out a common 5 ninths first? Okay, let's see where we can go from there. So this is 5 ninths. Then this is going to be multiplied by the final Fahrenheit temperature minus 32, right? Minus then the initial Fahrenheit temperature minus 32. And we realize now inside of the bracket, right, if we distribute the negative, here to this value and then to that value the 32 becomes positive right and essentially now I can do additions in this uh, uh, bracket right within the bracket here so the 32 will actually cancel all right because they have opposite signs and what this will leave me with is this will leave me with 5 ninths then multiplied now by the final Fahrenheit temperature minus the initial Fahrenheit temperature all right, and this is equal to, again, the final Celsius temperature minus the initial Celsius temperature. Okay, in other words, I can even restate this equation even more, even simpler or more simple. Don't ask me what the proper term is. I can say that the change in Celsius temperature would be equal to 5 ninths that of the change in Fahrenheit temperature. Right, and here is a nice little equation. So what this means now is basically if I know the change in Fahrenheit, I just take that and multiply it by 5 ninths, and that'll tell me the change in Celsius. That's it. And so if the Fahrenheit temperature uh, drops, right, by 40 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, so that means that the final, so this is just one thing you have to just keep in mind, that means that the final temperature will be lower than the initial temperature. And what that means is that when I plug in my change value, it's really a negative, okay, 40 degrees here. And that should make sense. Now, this would be then equaling 5 ninths, plugging in that negative 40, right, because the temperature dropped, the final is lower than the initial, 
Therefore, that's why it's a negative 40. And then I can just plug this into the calculator, right? So 5 ninths multiplied then by negative 40. And we get negative 22.2 uh, or so. So we have now, this is going to be equal to negative 22.2. And that's now the change in Celsius temperature. All right, I know I'm kind of running off the screen here, it looks like. Let me move this. It might not be in your view. Let me just move this on up here. No, nope. on over here. How's that? How's that? Right there. All right. So now this would be the answer. Okay, the negative. So that should make sense, right? If the temperature Fahrenheit drops by 40, the Celsius temperature should also drop uh, just by a 5 ninths proportion or 22.2. And then part B, it says show that the change in temp uh, temperature in Fahrenheit degrees is uh, nine-fifths the change in Celsius degree. So basically, I have my nice little formula over here that just states the same thing, but in the opposite fashion. right? They, wanna, they want us to now have a formula that relates change in Fahrenheit temperature. All right, solved essentially for change in Fahrenheit temperature. So what we want to do is take this equation, solve it for change in Fahrenheit. We'd have to multiply this side by the reciprocal of this fraction. All right, so it's just 9 fifths then. So this is just 9 fifths multiplied by the change in Celsius, and that answers letter B. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.